Bernie Sanders is right now fighting for the American people in the US Senate. Uh, Donald Trump signed the relief package into law two days ago and with a, a $600 payment to the American people. He still said he would prefer a higher payment. Now Mitch McConnell stands in the way of this because the Democrats already passed a bill for a $2,000 payment in the House. McConnell said he wouldn't let that come to a floor vote in the Senate, even after Bernie Sanders said if you don't do this, I'll filibuster the override of the defense bill. Donald Trump has vetoed the defense bill that was passed by Congress a couple of weeks ago because he wants to withdraw troops from mainly Afghanistan and also Germany and they, the bill basically doesn't allow him to do so. Uh, the House, I think yesterday, uh, did pass the override, even though several Democrats, mainly the Progressive Democrats, voted against it, but enough Republicans, of course, voted for it to get through. Now it's up to the Senate to also pass the override, and if Bernie Sanders filibusters it, it can't go through, and McConnell and the Republicans want it to go through. The interesting thing is, McConnell apparently wants to bring it up for unanimous consent, which means any one Democrat that wants to stop it can do so. Bernie is planning to do so, and he, he has the backing by Ed Markey. Now, the two of them, together with Kamala Harris, had already written such a $2,000 bill, which Bernie is not pushing, several months ago. So where's Kamala Harris? Why is Ed Markey the one backing up Bernie Sanders and the other co-author of that bill is nowhere to be found, besides making some tepid uh, support tweets? The... Oh yeah, I forgot, she's more interested in um, shaping the next administration, because what else would you do while you're still a sitting U.S. Senator? She. She knows that Joe Biden's not going to run again in 2024. She probably expects him to not even make it so far. And that she might actually have to take over as president in the next four years. And hence she wants to really get her teeth in. At least that's my suspicion. And everything she has been doing for the last few years was to build up some credibility among some progressives in order to get their support electorally to get as far as she did. She is not a progressive. She doesn't believe in any actual progressive policy. I don't even believe she believes in any actual policy. She only believes in one thing and that is her own personal power. And that is secure for four more years. If progressives want to challenge that, they actually have to start talking about primarying her in 2024 which right now I don't see actually happening. There are some voices online that demand that, but that's online. We need actual progressive organizations to scream that out into the world and to the media especially already to get Harris off her ass and do something in the next few years to continue to pretend that she's more progressive than she actually is. And if you have doubts that that could work. It works very well with Chuck Schumer already. Chuck Schumer has been supporting more progressive policy and has been spouting way more progressive rhetoric um, since r the rumors that maybe AOC or another progressive would challenge him in 2022 uh, became louder. So yeah, those can be used to pressure an establishment Democrat to move further left in the policy they're, policies they're supporting. And that has to happen with Harris as well. And it has to happen right now.